Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I am going to be talking to y'all while I install this wig that you see here. I purchased it from Amazon. Everything will be about it will be listed below, so make sure you check that out. Y'all, we I went through it filming this. I'm not home, so a lot of stuff I thought I bought, I didn't. You'll see in the video. I don't want to give it all away. But yeah, this is how it came out. For this being my third time installing a wig myself, I definitely like it. Let me zoom in for y'all. I'm happy with the way it came out. Please let me know below what you think. Let me know some areas where I could have done better possibly. Let me know. Like, I am all for constructive criticism. I know it's been a while, y'all. So much has happened in my life, which is why I haven't been filming. But, so this is the wig. It's a 22-inch body wave wig, right? 4x4 four four closure. I did um, bleach the knots and... It comes pre-plucked, but I did pluck it a little bit more. It says 22 inch body wave hair, 150% density, four by four lace front, Swiss lace. And it says you can do a middle part or a side part. I have already um, molded my hair. I'm kind of going to cheat a little bit. Like I'm not going to do the ball cap method because it's a closure. Like why go through all of that trouble for a closure? This is the stocking cap that I'm going to use. Um, it's close to my skin tone. I also have this one, but then I have to take makeup and put it on to make it basically this color. So we're not going to do that. We're all about, you know, doing stuff the quick way, quick, but proper way. So as you see, my hair is molded back. I do have my Cleo braids in. They are fresh, y'all. I just got them done. But we're going to pop it on. I want it to cover like my hairline for the most part. My hairline isn't even, but in this area, I want it as straight as possible. It has um, two combs on the side, one in the back. There's lace in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off in a minute. A few videos back, like I did a wig install, I think twice on my channel, Love Me and Beauty Forever Hair. I have not um, really done an install since then, so I'm still kinda new to putting wigs on. So let me cut this off real quick. And we're just going to go ahead and plop her on I hope everybody has been okay. Funny, not funny story, but I am just getting off of having COVID. I'm blessed that my symptoms were not severe. Okay, I did lose smell, I did lose taste, but besides that, I had some congestion, but I was still able to like move around and I'm just putting the um, combs in on the sides. I was able to still function in my life. Of course, I had to quarantine. That sucked. Not being able to go anywhere or do anything. But again, I'm just blessed that it wasn't as serious as it does get for some people. So I am not vaccinated yet. I don't have a reason as to why I am not, but I'm not. But I do intend on getting vaccinated. So I have to wait, I have to wait 14 days, 14 days of being symptomless before you can go and get vaccinated. So I'm just waiting. And again, like I haven't been working, so I'm actually going back to work tomorrow, which is why I am sticking a wig on today. And it feels secure, like it can be glueless, but yeah, we're not gonna do that. Like, because it's a closure wig, you do see some of my edges. Let me try and zoom in a little bit. I said in, and I zoomed you out. Okay, just for a sec. Like, because you do see my edges a little bit, but it's fine. 
it'll be fine once I style it. Now, it says that it could be a center part, and clearly you know it could be a center part. But it also says it could be a side part, so let's just see what the side part is looking like. And I guess it could. We could freak it. Y'all know what? I forgot. I forgot a wax stick. Foam. So I'm going to have to unfortunately pause this and go to the store. This is so disappointing. But let me run to the store and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Here we go. I'm back. And they didn't have the Cara Care wax stick, so I bought this one. So I don't remember what we was talking about. But yes, y'all, I am engaged. I have fallen in, I am in love and happy and at peace, like at peace. And that is amazing. This hair, even though, you know, I, because I bleached the knots, there we go. Because I bleached the knots, this hair feels soft. I should have filmed you know what it came the way it came but y'all know if you've ever ordered a body wave wig then it comes it comes in a body wave pattern nice and neat i'm just going to like slick this back for now so it'll be out the way so i brought my let me see yeah i still have some i have this bolt hold active which is what i'm going to use I am going to clean the area and then put the bolt hold on and blow dry it. I'm going to film it, but of course, because of all the noise or whatever, I'm going to block it out so you guys don't have to hear all of that noise. Alright, I have done two layers of this. As y'all see, this is not drying, and I've been drying for like 20 minutes. We're going to go ahead and sit this wig down. Okay. 10 minutes is still white don't worry we're going to cut this off y'all and I don't have no effing hairspray it's getting there so I'm going to tie this down yet again because I have to go back to the damn store all right y'all I'm back again. I went to the hair store. I got some guts to be.
just trust the process. <laughs> just trust the process. I'm thinking here is where we're going to part it. I really wanted a side part. Just work on getting that part as straight as possible. But we're going to just do this. I'm probably going to have to part this side and um, flatten it in sections. We, it is working. It's working. <laughs> Next part. Oh. That's it. Put some guts to be here. And we are about to curl this up and wrap this video up, y'all. So I bought some concealer for my part to fit me um, in the shade 360, which is too much in my shade. So we're going to put some of it on the part. And of course, I have to fix this. to blend it in because it's still white. Anybody who's done a wig knows that it's not perfect. It's not a perfect science to do in a wig. Like, you kind of got to just go roll with what you get, I guess. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. So, again, I'm just going to go along that part. way to the end. I still don't feel like I should do baby hair. Like, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to do baby hair, but let me back y'all up. Y'all, we have reached the end of the video. 
Hey, yeah, guys, this is the finished um, look. Like, I did some loose curls in it, beach wavy type curls. This is the back. You see? Like, I love it. Yeah. We went through a lot today <laughs> to do this video, but in the end, I am very happy with the end result this hair is pretty cool i didn't have any shedding i did have some come off in my curling iron and i'm sure because of the way that i curled it everything about this wig will be listed in the description box below including a link to purchase it directly from amazon if you are a beginner like i am instead of paying 300 400 200 dollars on a wig i definitely suggest purchasing a inexpensive wig just to practice and get your feet wet and then once you feel comfortable go and spend that that money on those expensive wigs because we all know as women we know wigs are expensive yeah so just let me know what y'all think until the next video y'all stay safe bye